How is it going, everybody? This is RBT, and I'm coming at you with a very, very happy video for me and for most of Titans Nation. As we all know, earlier today, Mike Munchak was fired as head coach. And you never really want to rejoice in somebody's firing. And, I mean, obviously for him, it's a tough time in his life, but... For the football team, for this franchise moving forward, this was the best possible thing. For this team, right here, moving forward, this was the best, the best possible thing to happen. Never liked the hire to begin with. Don't, didn't understand why they hired a guy. Not He never had a coordinator, never had coordinator experience, never had head coaching position. I mean, head, head coaching experience. Go from promoting him from offensive line coach to head coach and expected him to be successful. No. No. But for Mike Munchak, wouldn't be surprised to see him get the Penn State job. He's a Penn State guy. He almost got it last time whenever uh, Bill O'Brien got it. Uh, he backed down now. He's out of the job. Wouldn't be surprised that he heads to Happy Valley and gets that job. But for the Titans, I don't think anybody really realizes how disappointing not necessarily how bad of a coach he was, but how disappointing this team was. Because in each of these seasons, we have these three seasons as head coach, we've came so close to the playoffs, so close. But there's always that one loss, or the one close loss, or one horrible loss that kept us out of the playoffs. Each of his three seasons, he's been a head coach of the Titans. He has lost to a team or multiple teams that have either finished or have tied for the worst record in the NFL. In 2011, we're, we finished the season one game out of the playoffs. We lose a tiebreaker. If we beat the Colts, who came into that game 0-13, if we beat the Colts, we make the playoffs in this first season. Second season, we just did bad. Uh, we lost the Jaguars, etc., etc. Think about it. We were in the same division as the Colts when they were horrible before they got Andrew Luck. The Jaguars, or the Jaguars, and the Houston Texans this season, who's been the worst team in the NFL. And we've not won the division once with these three teams in the same division. That's bad. Um, this season, we, I believe, were one or two games away from making the playoffs. We lost to the Houston Texans, who had lo have lost 14 straight since then. And we lost to the Jacksonville Jaguars. If we win those two games, we're in the playoffs. And that's just pathetic. In his three years as head coach, we were 2-20. and 2-20 20. Two and 20 against teams that finished the season with a winning record. That is horrible. Horrible. 2-20 and 20 against good teams. And I think we've been so close. But always, that one loss to the Jaguars to the to the the Texans, the Colts when they're winless. We we have not had a chance to compete in the playoffs. It's it's just disappointing with the talent that we have. We have we're a playoff caliber team with the talent that we have. But the coaching we have is horrible. Horrible. They're probably gonna completely just clean slate and start over. And I would not object to that. I'm happy. I'm happy he's gone. I didn't like his persona didn't like his didn't really like anything about Munchak uh, coaching wise I mean obviously he's a good guy everything but in the coaching it's a tough job it's a tough trait when you don't do well when your fans aren't happy that's that's what drives this sport is the fans and not too many people are happy with him so this is the best move for him to be fired and uh, pick a new guy start over and I, th I think we're I think we're a good coaching staff away. If we if we can hire a good coaching staff, a solid a staff, draft have a good draft, make some changes in the off season, I would not be surprised one bit if we make the playoffs next season. Seriously, because I mean we're as of right now we're not that far behind the Colts, and the Colts have easily won the division the last two seasons. We're better than the Texans right now. We're better than the Jaguars, even though we can't beat them. So. If we can just take that next step, we're a playoff team. The worst division in football, I believe, by far. And we're just so close. Candidates to replace them? 
Man, I, I I have no clue. I really don't. We nobody really has a clue right now because they could go anywhere from, anywhere from college to an assistant to a, a current coordinator. Heck, they could go to the Ca Canadian Football League and find a head coach. We have absolutely no clue, and I don't think anybody will for a while. For me, who I would like, I really I, I really have no clue. Um, a guy that. It's way, way off the radar that has ties to Tennessee that probably won't even get a mention, but it's just popped in my head. Just, just all of a sudden, David Cutcliffe from Duke. I would love the hire. The dude is an absolute genius. Has completely transformed Duke. He has ties to the state of Tennessee. Could he be a candidate? Probably not, but... I would, I mean, as a fan, I would not object to that. Um, other guys, I really have no clue. The, the D coordinators from, the coordinators from the the Broncos, the D coordinator from the, D coordinator from the Seahawks have been hot commodities. Uh, Gary Kubiak's out there, probably wouldn't be happy with that. Um, Lovey Smith is gone, I would like to see Lovey Smith, but I really have no clue. But I need to end that video there, because I need to, I gotta leave in just a minute. But I wanted to go ahead and make this before I had to go out. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you get Titans fans are happy with this firing. And uh, let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. And let me know who you want as head coach in the comments. And let me know who you think we get. If you're a fan out there, just let me know what you think about Mike Munchak being fired. Let me know who you think we get. So do you think it's a good firing? Do you think it's a smart decision? I definitely do. So be sure to big hit the like button if you haven't already and subscribe to my channel so you do not miss any more NFL coverage. I am leaving soon. I gotta make my bowl recap video, the Vanderbilt and Houston game. I'll be coming at you with that just real quick. And then the NFL playoff games are, are the, the uh, Chiefs and Colts games going on right now. But I will not be here when it ends to recap it and I'll do it when I get back later tonight. So it'll probably be like late, late upload. But don't miss that and I'll be coming at you with the Eagle Saints also. So catch you guys later. Have a great Saturday night. And as always, roll Tigers, Ox, and get Titans to you. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash Catch you guys later. Peace.